MVP award encompasses everything. Uh, past MVPs include, you know, Jamal Murray, TJ Law, Nadeem Hodzik, Lindell Wigginton. So the list goes on and on. Uh, we're very, very proud of these two MVPs. Um, the one thing I would say about both of them is that they have, they have great attitudes. Uh, they hustle. Um, they're never too high or too low. They're very constant. Um, I've seen them encouraging their teammates. They always come in the gym with a smile on their faces, ready to get to work, um, never moping around. Um, so we're super impressed uh, with the MVPs. So the first MVP goes to Joe Lippert. It's amazing. I mean, I'm really grateful just to even be here playing basketball. As I said, like the last two years I've come to this camp, it's just been drills because of COVID. So I'm grateful just to be out here hooping and couldn't be more blessed to receive this award. Growing as a player, you know, I think I learned a lot about leadership, leading my team uh, in our first games in the first two days. We only won one out of four of our games. And I, you know, had to lead them through the playoffs, told them we can do this, that sort of thing. Leadership was definitely the number one thing for me. Joe's, uh, Joe's again, has a great attitude, um, a great feel for the game, um, very, very strong player. And the thing I like about Joe is he's never too high or too low, no matter what's happening. He's very constant, very engaged in the game, a uh, coachable kid, very positive attitude. But boy, can he finish. He can finish and, and set screens and rebound. And we're also very proud of Joe and wish him the best as well at the next level. Our last MVP uh, shot the, uh, the ball extremely well uh, the whole uh, camp. I think he had a buzzer beater over the whole purple team there at one of the games. You know, uh, handles the ball well, great attitude, uh, very coachable, uh, gets to work every day, um, can finish really well, more athletic than I thought. So he's getting better and better, and that is Andrew Yrosevic. I just showed how hard I've worked over the past uh, two, three years when they didn't give out these awards, when it was just us doing drills during these past two years of Top 40. Shows how hard I worked and how everything's paid off. Well, it was a great experience. You know, my run's an amazing camp. Uh, this year is the first year that I've actually got to scrimmage in this uh, camp, so it was just great doing that. And the drills and the coaching and everything were amazing. To be honest, if you ask me, it's genetics. Alex Yurosevic, that's where he gets it from. He doesn't have a, you can never ask for a better shooting coach, and I've been really honored to work with him as well. But Andrew has a work ethic like no other. You know, he's in the gym. We're constantly making each other better. I make 100 shots, he's going to make 200. I'm going to make 300, just like that. He's got the work ethic of an animal. Well, Andrew possesses um, a, a great attitude and coachability, but he's also a great player, and he shows that day in and day out. He's, he's extremely um, dedicated to his craft, comes in the gym early, leaves late, always practicing on his game, getting his game better. We're very impressed with the way he handles the ball. Aside from what everybody knows him for, is shooting the ball really, really well. Um, his defense is getting better. He's making all the right steps to head to the next level. And as a coaching staff, we're very, very proud of him. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.